What's going on guys, it's your boy Farwell, coming back with a commentary which I haven't done in a while, my voice is finally better, and we can um, we can get going with this commentary. So, the thing I'd like to talk about today is confidence, mate, is confidence, and the general rule with confidence is, if you're more confident you play better, simple enough stuff, you, um, <clears throat> I mean that's the same for most things in life, and I'll give a couple of examples in a moment, but... Um, I chose these games here. These are scrims against other teams with my team, their detonation we are called, and um, uh, this this scrim was on Coliseum, and it's, it shows a really good example of how confidence can really change the game. And I hit some brilliant, brilliant shots in this game, which I don't think I would have hit if I didn't have confidence. And there, there are two separate games in this on this video, and um, they're both on Coliseum's flag. The first game ends after one flag because our teammate accidentally left or got lagged out. Anyway. What confidence does is it makes you believe that you're better than you actually are, and but by what that what I mean by that is you reach your potential, you reach the stuff that you before have never really experienced, and your confidence goes through the roof, and you start playing even better, and then that's like a continuous loop. Your confidence, so you get better, and then you get even better, so your confidence grows even more, and it's just a continuous cycle. But what you need to really kickstart your confidence is a good start. Now you saw in this game. <laughs> I'm I currently have no deaths, and I started off with a nice double kill on those two players, and I just keep on going. There's another nice snipe there. Come up, hit the rocket kill, and it just it just kept goes on. It just gets the ball rolling, rolling, and it gets you in a really really good winning position. As I choke the overkill there, what am I doing? And and with confidence, you get a bit more ambitious, which is a good thing if you're in a winning position, and you you can try something that you don't norm you wouldn't normally go for a nice no scope across the map perhaps, or even like there just checking the spawners. I don't I don't know why I don't do that more often, but when you just get a bit of confidence with it, you just turn into an absolute god. You know what I mean? And this is the same for anything. It's not necessarily exclusive to Halo. I mean, you look at sport. You look at um, the Barclays Premier League this year it, for those football fans out there, and um, you look at the likes of Leicester City, who have gone from strength to strength after being bottom a year ago today. They were bottom of the league, but now they're top of the league by five points. And same can be said, uh, that's, that's a team as a whole. I mean, it works for teams. It also works for individuals, shown by Marcus Rashford, Man Manchester United young player. He came, came out of nowhere and gets and scored a goal on the derby and to win Manchester United, the, the, the game against Manchester City. Now, I'm not here to talk about football, but you can, you can tell how... You guys can all relate to it when you've had confidence, you just do better and better. So, what I feel when I get confident, <clears throat> uh, I feel that I, t I go into some, it's, it's going to be ex extremely difficult to explain, but I go into some sort of innate state where I genuinely think I can actually do anything. And I feel that. I feel that when th when this comes along, my mind is totally focused on the game, and I, I reach this point where nothing nothing can distract me, and my eyes are just I'm just solidified onto it, and that's when you start playing as it were playing out of your mind. That is literally the point where you are so immersed in this game that it's just it seems surreal, and you get a real real burst of energy, and that allows you to. Just go, just play to your full potential. I, I don't know about you, but my brain sort of it feels like my brain goes into overdrive. It, it's a cringy term, but that's literally how it feels. It feels that I'm now able, with confidence, to play at a higher level. It, it means that average players can be become good players, and this is what happens to me. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm average. I'm saying good. But this is what makes this is what some players need to take the next step to become to go from a good player to a great player and some and this this game shows it i mean I'm the, I, you check my other gameplays out there's no way i'm hitting the sort of shots that i'm hitting in this game and i mean it shows i mean uh, i mean normally i only show you gameplays that i actually do well in but this one i hit consistent headshots consistent shots with the sniper rifle and i dominate for the whole game i re retain a power position i don't push forward when i don't need to I, I, I sit back and play defensive and you, you notice that the decisions that I make because I'm confident it, it all just bundles up it's a snowball effect you play with confidence you get better you play and because you're better you play with even more confidence that death right there I think that's my first one of that game so it's just incredible and I mean you, with confidence and there's a saying that you generate your own luck and I must say coming up in about 10 seconds or so you're about to see 
uh, I wouldn't say it's luck because I didn't don't actually hit it by the end. But you start you start getting in better positions and look at this, absolute hit that and bang! Oh my god, this is how close I was to a collateral triple kill, and. I would have picked, I probably would have picked up the overkill. Look, there's the first player, and this is absolutely outrageous. I cannot believe I didn't hit this, but uh, see for yourself. But as I was saying, and y you just get no better and better all the time, and that's the moral of the story. And the moral of the story is play with confidence, have belief in yourself. If you give belief in yourself, you can actually accomplish anything. And as seen with Leicester City, if you have no pressure, if you play with no pressure, if you're the underdog, you have no pressure. There's no pressure to, to stand up and say it's your first scrim against the team. There should be no pressure there. There's no pressure to do well. And if you have no pressure, you don't have that resting on your shoulders, you should be able to play better. And so that, that's, that's what it is. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Um, I just like to talk about the confidence and show off this sick game I had. Anyway, like, subscribe, Twitter and Twitch. Play with confidence and you will play a lot better. Just watch it. Have a few warm-up games. Get your shot on and you will get better. That's all from me, guys. Like, subscribe, Twitter and Twitch. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.